Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel with the Fan TV. Back at another video, like the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. A lot of football things happening, but we're going to talk about today something that's off the field, which is something that's a very popular topic, obviously, uh, which is Lamar Jackson's contract. Now, I don't really like talking about Lamar Jackson's contract unless there's actually news to talk about. And, you know, the title of this video sounds a little dramatic, like the Ravens had 24 hours to pay Lamar Jackson. Sounds like a ransom note or something, right? But um, on a ser but seriously, though, you know, he had a uh, press conference yesterday, talked to the media, and, you know, he pretty much said that, you know, the cutoff date for contract talks is Friday. Uh, reporters were really trying to get the answer out of him. You know, he, they were saying, well, when's the cutoff date? You know, you, you said you, you had one, things like that. And he was just kind of playing it cool, nonchalant, not really answering. And then they, they kept pressing on with another follow-up question. Um, so he finally said, yeah, Friday, you know, and the end of business day, Friday, that's, that's probably going to be it. You know, then it's all, it's all football. Uh, but when I saw from the press conference, right, Lamar Jackson was calm, cool. He doesn't really seem like a guy that's under pressure. He's laughing, joking with the media about everything. He seems like he's, he's cool with what's going on. He's not really negatively affected by it, which is great. Um, he also said that he doesn't know how close him and the Ravens are when it comes to these contracts and, and the grand on terms. Which is a funny thing to say, but I think what he really means is, you know, I, I got my, I got where I want to be. They got to where they want to be. So we'll see how far it is until we get to closer or they get to my number, right? He said that um, you got to talk to the guy I'm talking to about how close we are. And that's, you know, GM Eric DaCosta. Um, so Lamar, he took it all in stride, bro. He was he was having a good time with it. Um, I think I think maybe the PR person on the side had to tell the reporters, hey, look, can y'all ask something about something else other than the contract? And, you know, because that's, that's, that's what people want to know about. They want to know, are you guys close? You still talking? Now, obviously, that means obviously the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are still talking. But, you know, Friday's the deadline. Now, Lamar Jackson and his contract is going to get resolved one way or the other. But I thought it was funny that Lamar Jackson did another interview today where he said that, you know, a lot of the stuff that you see about him on Twitter, he's kind of just... He kind of just trolling that he likes to, you know, like posts or like pictures just to kind of get the people going because he knows that they trying to get in his business and nobody really in his business anyway. So, you know, people are guessing and assuming. So, you know, he likes stuff on there just to kind of get them going, which is which is pretty funny because, you know, obviously it's work because he's the news topic on, and, you know, every ESPN between Ravens fans, everything, you know, Lamar Jackson is the topic. Uh, but really what I want to talk about is the fact that I think that. Obviously, it's all assumptions and speculation. But I think that Eric DaCosta and Lamar Jackson probably have a number that they can agree on, right? But it's not really about them. It's about Bashadi. It's about the owner. Because we got to look at past history. Flacco's in the same situation. Obviously, Flacco wanted a certain number. Ravens didn't want to meet it. And that was Ozzy at the time. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about the whole wolf. A lot of talk about Bashadi saying, hey, Joe, you go out there, you want a Super Bowl, you come, you ask for whatever you want. Obviously, now Joe Flacco went out there and did that. But why does it have to come to that? When you have a franchise quarterback in your backyard right here, right now, you don't have to go out and get one. You should pay the guy what the market is worth, what, what the market value says. Now, obviously, we can talk about Deshaun Watson's contract. I did that in previous videos. I really don't want to get into that. And we know that was anomaly by the Browns, things like that, blah, blah, blah. But for Bashadi and the Ravens, this is a risk. This is a risk for, for no, an unnecessary one at that. Where there's really not any scenario where Lamar Jackson goes out here this season and loses himself money. So why not just pay the guy now what he's worth and then you can save money on the back end when contracts are going up and up and up, right? Um, but it seems like Bashadi has this thing where he wants to see a player, especially a quarterback, go always to the end of his contract and then get, and then get paid. Which... Is just not a good business model in my in my estimation. A and if Bashadi really is a billion, still a billionaire like he is, he should have the money to put whatever it is in escrow aside to pay Lamar Jackson. Now that's what it is with guaranteed contracts, right? That so like with Russell Wilson, right? He got two hundred forty five million dollars. That number don't matter. The hundred and sixty million dollars, sixty five million dollars that was guaranteed, that's what matters because. The, the Broncos owner, their, their ownership group had to put $165 million in escrow, guaranteed. It can't be touched. It's right there right now. Maybe that's the issue with Bashadi. Maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable putting that kind of money to the side right now. I don't know. 
But it's just weird that you would have a guy like Lamar that's an MVP, everything like that, when really he should have been paid two years ago and you would have saved a lot of money. When Josh Allen got paid after doing way less than Lamar Jackson did, that was the time to pounce on it. So now you put yourself in a scenario where you're trying to catch up. And now the market has risen. Now Deshaun Watson has done you know, what he's done. And the market has gone crazy. So now you're in a situation where you're playing catch up. Why, why wait until it's time for him to quote unquote win a Super Bowl or whatever to pay him? And the reason I'm really talking about Bashadi is because Bashadi is the one that put a lot of this stuff out there. He's the one that said that, you know, I, I don't think this kid feels like he's worthy enough right now. He wants to win a Super Bowl before he wants to come and do the contract. Now, maybe he's talking about from past experiences about Joe Flacco, and that's kind of how maybe how Flacco felt, which I still don't believe that to be true. But for Lamar Jackson to come out in a press conference when he gets to training camp and say that, no, I'm ready for the contract right now. I feel like I'm worthy of it. So that's pretty much saying that what Bashadi said wasn't the truth. Now, I will say this. I do think there was probably a point in time where Lamar Jackson and the Ravens weren't talking. Probably that time was when he was in Florida. They probably were just doing little updates here and there. But mainly, he was focused on getting ready for the, the regular season and things like training camp, things like that, right? But Mashiach took on the extra limb time. Oh, well, you know, I don't think he's ready for a contract at all. And Lamar dispelled that. So I even put that out there. Um, and it just seems like Mashiach doesn't... When it comes to paying guy paying quarterbacks he just likes to play wait until the last minute so this is the same thing that happened with Flacco Flacco's contract could have been avoided now Flacco was completely different um the, you could say the Ravens in a way were justifiably worried about paying Joe Flacco that amount of money uh just because obviously he had he had the playoff success beforehand but you know he was up and down he was inconsistent but with Lamar Jackson you got an MVP your perennial playoff team you win a lot of games now, some of the stuff you can say for Flacco, but Lamar Jackson's individual play is above where Flacco was in his individual play, right? Um, so it's just kind of a strange situation just to wait so long. And that's why I say I, I, the Costa, I believe the Costa's doing this thing, trying to get a number that Lamar and Bashadi can agree on. Because that seems to me, that seems to be the holdup, right? So the Ravens have 24 hours to pay Lamar Jackson a, a reasonable number for this year because if they wait... Franchise tagging twice and paying them an exorbitant amount in two years, if he still is even on the team, it, it, it just wouldn't be smart. It would be, it would be crazy to do that, honestly. Um, he deserves a contract now. It makes sense for all parties to do it now. So whatever the holdup is, 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 is interesting because, like, what could that be? Um, and it seems like with that, you know, Lamar and Eric DeCasa, they talk, whatever, da, da, da. Lamar says this or that. And the Casa probably tells Bashai that number. Bashai said, oh, well, can we get him to do this? But you should not be bargaining back and forth with your quarterback, bro. This is the most important position in football. A lot of people will tell you it's the harder position in sports, period. And we're going back and forth to whether or not that is, is it too much to pay him this? Like, come on, man. The money ain't been invested in many other places on offense. All right, you got Ronnie Stanley making a lot of money. Hopefully, Ronnie Stanley comes back healthy. And who else are you paying on offense? Demarcus Robinson is was a free agent on the street. You got you got Mark Andrews, so that's that's the other guy that's getting paid. I mean, Zeitler on the offensive line. You're not paying a bunch of guys a lot of money, so it's just interesting that the fact that you would wait this long for no other apparent reason other than this is what you want to do to pay the best player on your football team. Um, so we'll see, man, you know, <laughs> Lamar, like I said, he seems to be having a good time with it. It doesn't seem to be like, uh, taking it anything like personal, you know, even in this interview where he said he admits to like trolling and like stuff on, you know, uh, pictures of him in the Dolphins jerseys and stuff like that. He says that, you know, the Ravens are a great organization. I've said multiple times, this is where I want to be. So if he's saying that, I know the Costa, Harbaugh, they want him here. You know, I, listen. I think it's a lot about whether what Steve Bashadi wants to pay Lamar Jackson. I, I just think that's what it's about. And if that's the case, you got to get over that. You have a prime time player here. You got to dig in your pocket and make that money. It, 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 it splash that cash, man. That's what has to happen here. Now, the Ravens going into this game versus the Jets, um, especially if you know, you know, if, if Lamar Jackson doesn't get paid tomorrow. 
it's all football until you know the end of the season. Now, obviously, the contract stuff will come up whether Lamar Jackson plays good, whether he plays bad. The questions will still be probably asked during the season, so you can't always get away from it. But for a guy like Bashadi who said, I want no drama, this is causing drama. Simple as that. If you want to alleviate the drama, pay your star quarterback. Simple as that, man. Uh, but like I said, yo, Lamar Jackson wants to be here. At least that's, that's what he's saying. He hasn't proven to be a liar. And if that doesn't happen, you got to look at the ownership and wonder what exactly are you doing? So that, that's just my thoughts on the matter. Like I said, the Ravens have 24 hours to pay Lamar Jackson. If they do, they do. If they don't, then, you know, we, we're here waiting until next year to see what happens, man. Uh, so I just want to talk about that, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just know the fan TV. I'm out.